I'm here with five-time Juno nominee Kalita, and uh, you not only are a singer-songwriter, but you kind of do it all. You're a comedian, you're a, an author, soon to be author, uh, you're a blogger, you are anything and everything communication-wise. You are a, a, you're the queen of communication. Oh, well, thank yeah. you. Because <laughs> you have a great story, and you're also here with your incredible husband, musician, songwriter himself, Gord Lemon. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad to have both of you here. Well, thanks. It's great to be back. You know, you've been touring for a long time, and, and if anybody is, is interested, you got to go to Kalita.com because you're still on the road, you're still touring, you're still recording, you're going to come up with a new record this, this fall, this right? This fall, yes. So you're going to be in the studio soon to do that, yeah. and the song you're going to sing later is going to be on that. Yeah, brand new. I love that. You know, we've been doing this for a long time, but this, the desire to not only sing Never, never leaves you, but the desire to also tell your story. Yeah. You've got an amazing story, and yet you continue to become more vulnerable as the years go on. Why do you think you feel the need to tell your story? Well, I think everyone has a story. You know, we all have a life that we've led. We all have things that we've experienced and are even going through today. And I have learned that when I share my story with other people and take those chances of being mm -hmm. vulnerable and courageous that, you know, you never know who you're sitting next to or across from and what kind of life they've led or what they need to hear about your story mm -hmm. that might encourage them, inspire them, help them on to the next step of their journey. So, you know, for many years I hid. I hid behind many walls, put up big walls, big, lots of masks. But as soon as I started really being real and honest, you know, it not only helped me to discover who I was and, and learn to love and forgive and accept myself, but I saw what it did to other people and it mm. gave them a type of permission that, wow, if she can do that, maybe I can too. Do you find it scary? Like when, <laughs> when you first started thinking, I, mm -hmm. I, I need to tell more of yeah. my story, was it? Yeah. How did that feel? Was that kind of a... Uh, of a scary thing? Well, it is scary because, you know, because it's not just your story because there's other people involved in your story, right? So I'm very cautious of how I, how I present that because there are people in my life that are still around that have hurt, sure. hurt me and uh, like we've all experienced. And so we have to, you know, really show the grace that God has showed me mm -hmm. and you. And it can be very scary. The, the next scary part for me will be the book. And I'm working on the book. I've been working on it for a long time. But I think when everything is in print, then that's, yeah. that's very vulnerable. It would be very yeah. vulnerable. That's a scary place to be. Yeah. But it's also a, it's one of those scary things that I think is wonderful. When you, when you, when you talk a little bit about your story, you've gone through uh, abuse. Mm -hmm. You've gone through physical, sexual, mental abuse. You've had real pain. Yeah. You've got yeah. You've got pain that's not easily dealt with. No. And you're a person of faith. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you deal with those deep inner wounds, those those deep moments of pain? Mm -hmm. And how do you sometimes deal with that from your faith perspective? And you're talking to people yeah. often in churches or in theater. How do you deal with that? Well, I I think it just stems from what we've just been talking about. Being open and being real and being honest and being willing to go to those places. Mm. You know, so many of our addictions, our hangups, our, our troubles that we experience in adult life, they, they are formed in those formative years. And a lot of times we don't want to talk about them, we hide them because they are so painful. But as we become older and more mature mm -hmm. and you realize these things affect my everyday life and my relationship with my spouse or my kids or my coworkers, so when we can uncover and bring those secrets and those wounds out into the light, you know, we're, we're able to move forward better. Mm -hmm. And that's how I've been able to do so much of my healing, really, is by willing to go back to those places sure. that I don't want to go to. But when we can give ourselves the permission to do that and allow God to come into those places and say, you know, I can't do it alone. And I might need a therapist or a counselor or a pastor or a mentor, somebody to walk me through that. You know, we don't have to do it alone. Mm. And when I finally opened up and said, okay, God, no more hiding, no more lying, no more cheating in my life and allowed him, then, you know, he took me by the hand. It was the two of us doing the work, not, not just me or not just him, but it, it really, it's a relationship. And when we can do it together, 
and you're vulnerable and you take those those chances then I, I think good things you know, happen yeah in the light. good things happen and you and you can find so much healing and then and then you're a better person to then raise your child or or your grandchild right the, the stories in the dark they play with your mind oh yeah the but power the, of the mind yeah. it all happens between here mm -hmm. and here so much negativity and when we can erase that tape and start changing it then you know we can start changing well it not only changes for you but it changes for the people that hear you not only yeah. through your songs but for your through your stories yeah. people can they can resonate and they go wow if like you yeah. said earlier if she can handle this yeah. maybe i can talk about this and find yeah. healing yeah. Uh, it, the story you're going to sing, the, the song you're going to yeah. sing, everyone has a story. Mm -hmm. There's no better person to sing it. Well, You've got a great story. You've got a, a, a painful story, yet a story of redemption. Uh, thank you for just being vulnerable for years and years of being faithful to telling God's story and using your gifts to, to make a difference. Thanks. Uh, would you please you. Uh, make welcome to Kalita. And if you, if you want her music, you want to know where she is, go to Kalita.com and you're going to hear this song very soon. Everyone has a story. Take it away. 